sports star Jackie Robinson. Synopsis. Born January 31st, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia, Jackie Robinson became the first black athlete to play Major League Baseball in the 20th century. He signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947, and throughout his decade-long career, Robinson distinguished himself as a talented player with a vocal and, excuse me, a vocal civil rights activist. In 1955, he helped the Dodgers win the World Series. He retired in 1957 with a career batting average of .311. Robinson died in Connecticut in 1972. Early Life Jack Roosevelt Robinson was born on January 31, 1919 in Georgia, the youngest of five children. Robinson was raised without much money by a single mother. In high school, he played four sports, football, basketball, track, and baseball. Robinson continued his education at UCLA. He played four sports there. He had to leave UCLA before finishing due to money troubles. He then moved to Hawaii to play football. His football season was cut short when the United States entered into World War II. Robinson served in the United States Army. During boot camp, Robinson was arrested and court-martialed for refusing to give up his seat to a white man and move to the back of the bus. The bus was segregated. Whites and blacks were supposed to sit separately. Robinson's excellent reputation, along with his efforts of friends and equal rights groups, helped get him cleared of the charges. He received an honorable release from the Army. The standoff was an early example of Robinson's effort to fight racism. Breaking the Color Barrier After leaving the Army, Robinson started playing baseball professionally. At the time, African Americans and whites played in separate leagues. Robinson began playing in the Negro Leagues, but he was soon chosen to help open the White League to black players. He joined the all-white Ma Montreal Royals in 1946. Robinson promised not to fight back when faced with racism. From the beginning, he was well tested. Even some of his new teammates were, ha were, have, were against having an African American on their team. People in the crowd sometimes taunted Robinson. He and his family even received threats. Nevertheless, Robinson had an amazing start with the Royals. He led the team in batting average and fielding percentages. His success led him to join the Brooklyn Dodgers, an all-white major league team. With his first game on April 15, 1947, Robinson made history as the first black athlete to play Major League Baseball. The harassment continued, however. Opposing teams shouted hateful things at Robinson from their dugout. Many players on other teams threatened not to play against the Dodgers. Even his own teammates threatened to sit out. Still, the Dodgers, especially the team coach, were loyal to Robinson. Baseball hero. Even though there were many people who mistreated Robinson, others defended his right to play in the major leagues. The league president was the baseball commissioner and Dodgers team captain, Pee Wee Reese, and they all supported him. Robinson showed everyone what a talented player he was. In his first year, he helped the Dodgers win the National League title. Robinson led the league in stolen bases and was selected Rookie of the Year. Robinson soon became a hero of the sport. He stole home 19 times in his, play, in his time as a player, setting a league record. He also became the highest paid athlete in Dodgers history. His success in the major leagues opened the doors for other African-American players. A voice for African-American athletes. Robinson became a championship excuse me, champion for African-American athletes, civil rights, and other important causes. He spoke about discrimination before Congress and called out the Yankees for not having any black players. In his time with the Dodgers, Robinson and his team won the National League several times. In 1955, he helped them become World Series champions. Eventually, he was traded to the New York Giants, but retired soon after the trade. Causes and Legacy 
After baseball, Robinson continued to work for social change. He was the first African American to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, and in 1972, the Dodgers retired his uniform number of 42, a great honor in baseball. In his years later, Robinson continued to fight racism in sports, and he died in 1972. After his death, his wife established the Jackie Robinson Foundation, which helps young people in need. Okay, ladies, now that you've heard Miss Egging read the article, um, I have attached another video that you are more than welcome to watch as well, just a quick little biography about his life, some fun, interesting facts. And then there's also a writing prompt. So the writing prompt is as follows. How does this article support the theme of overcoming adversity? Think about how Jackie Robinson's words and actions support his character traits. How can you apply his courage, dedication, and nonviolent approach to achieve your own goals? Also, following this, right below the right section, you'll be able to take the quiz so Ms. Hagen can see how you do. Good luck. Born January 31st, 1919, in Cairo, Georgia, Jack Roosevelt Robinson was the youngest of five siblings. He followed his older brother, Mac, into athletics. Mac went off and he competed in the 1936 Olympics. This is an athlete who had won a medal under the eye of Adolf Hitler. He came back to Pasadena and Mac Robinson could only find work as a garbage man. That's something that Jackie Robinson never forget. Robinson was a star athlete at Pasadena Junior College and became the first UCLA student to win varsity letters in four sports, basketball, football, track, and baseball. He was a local tennis champion. He was a local football star. He was a great track star. Jackie Robinson, baseball was really almost the last thing he was great at. He was great at everything. He could have done anything. While in the Army, Robinson was arrested for refusing to move to the back of a segregated bus. Robinson fought a court-martial and was eventually given an honorable discharge. Jackie Robinson was sick and tired of the U.S. Army, and the U.S. Army felt that they had a problem on their hands with Lieutenant Robinson, so they... Uh, agreed that he would be honorably discharged. With the Negro Leagues as his only opportunity to play professional baseball, Robinson joined the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. That same year, he was given a life-changing invitation by Branch Rickey of the Brooklyn Dodgers. There were players in the Negro League that were just as good, if not better, than Jackie Robinson. But Branch Rickey understood that he needed more than just a superb baseball player. He needed someone who had flawless and impeccable character, and he found that person in Jackie Robinson. Despite harsh opposition, Robinson was selected as the first rookie of the year, he became the first man in the league in 26 years to steal his way around the bases, and in 1955, he helped the Brooklyn Dodgers win the World Series against the New York Yankees. The valor with which Jackie Robinson responded to the jeers and the hatred and the bigoted remarks in the Capitals is one of the great silent portraits in American history. Under that hail of threats and epithets, he would walk into the batter's box. And you know, about a little over the third of the time, because I believe he batted a 330 something that year, he'd get a hit. That's what he did. He certainly didn't cower. He certainly didn't flinch. And there were a lot of bean balls thrown at him. Jackie Robinson wasn't just a great symbol, he was a great baseball player. He led the Brooklyn Dodgers to six pennants when he was there. This is a Brooklyn Dodger team that was called the Bums, because they couldn't win. Jackie Robinson led them, and part of it was his fire. His fire kept them going. Shortly after being traded to the New York Giants, Robinson retired from baseball in 1957 and became a business executive. After Jackie Robinson left baseball, his fight wasn't over. I mean, he continued to fight for civil rights. He was a member of the NAACP's upper management campaign for them, campaign with Dr. King uh, to try and integrate a lot of America. Also, you know, opened up a bank in Harlem. I mean, this was a guy who this meant more to him than just his legacy as a baseball player. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 and later died from a heart attack on October 24, 1972. In 2005, Jackie Robinson was honored with the Congressional Gold Medal. The story of Jackie Robinson changed the literal complexion of the game. It changed the complexion of images that we saw, black and white photos in newspapers and on television. It put a black man at the center of the story of America. And I think we've been an imperfect but infinitely better society ever since.